The Riverbank Zoo is planning to ask for an $80 billion bond again, but this time they're taking a different approach. News 19's Peyton Lewis has the story. Last year, Riverbank Zoo leaders went before Richland County Council to ask for millions of dollars to make upgrades to the zoo. But this year, they're taking a different approach. Riverbank Zoo is getting ready to request funds from both Richland and Lexington counties to try again at making a park expansion happen. Phase two is an opportunity for us to expand our campus, and we depend every about 10 to 12 years on public support for that. The project is called Bridge to the Wild, which the zoo has been working on in phases since 2019. Phase two is what they're hoping to work on now. Zoo leaders tried to get funding for this phase last year by going before Richland County Council and asking for an $80 million bond, which would have raised property taxes in the area. In good conscience, I cannot say that I would vote to support of the zoo and raise taxes and I didn't do it for education. But now the zoo is dividing the bond between Richland and Lexington counties to try to help soften the blow. Tommy Stringfellow, CEO for Riverbank Zoo, says they're trying for a bond again because the zoo needs to maintain their momentum. We have to continue every year adding something new and that will continue the growth of tourism. Riverbanks is asking for 44.8 million from Richland County and 35.2 million from Lexington County. The bond money would go toward adding an orangutan exhibit and a multi-purpose building that would extend to the Casey River Walk with a restaurant and a deck that would remain open after the zoo closes. And residents we spoke with say they're okay with paying a little bit more to have more experiences. I would love it because I love the zoo. I think it's fantastic. All that I have to say is that being a taxpayer, I'm fine with it going to extracurricular stuff like that, that, beneficial stuff. And the zoo, it brings in people from all over the country. But then again, I guess it's for a good cause, you know, for the kids and for the community. So, I mean, I guess it, it balances out. Lexington County Council Chair Beth Kerrig says they're also on board giving this statement on Friday saying, quote, the zoo is the number one tourist attraction in the Midlands and they're good partners with Lexington County. I believe we will be willing to partner with them once they present their plan to council. And this approval will have to come soon, according to Carrig, because budget season is right around the corner. And that presentation to both county councils will have to be sometime before the end of June and July because county budgets are supposed to go into effect July 1st every year. Reporting in studio, Peyton Lewis, News 19 WLTX.